Hi, this is Cycling Explorer again. I don't know about you, but every single day I'm struggling to watch my weight, try not to gain any. Um, you think a cyclist would uh, have no issues with weight, but what people don't realize is that we come home, we're really hungry and we stay hungry all the time. So yeah, I burn a lot of calories, but I eat a lot of stuff too. So what I want to talk about today is how much sugar should you actually have in your daily diet? So I went to the USDA Economic Resource Services website and they estimate that the average American consumes about 130 pounds of caloric sweeteners in the year 2012, which is the last year of this particular survey. Since 2000, only the high fructose corn syrup has dropped while refined sugars have increased by almost an entire pound. That means the average American is eating around 44 teaspoons of sugars per day or 34 teaspoons more than the maximum healthy recommendations. And we're talking about a lot of people with a lot of weight problems. Here's the solution. Sugars, natural and refined, are hidden everywhere in the average diet. Sugar is considered processed if it has a regular texture and flavor. A good example of processed sugar is the white sugar that you buy in a typical grocery store. This form of sugar is widely used in baking and sweetening because it behaves in a very predictable manner and it is easy to control. Think about what you added to your coffee or tea this morning. Did you actually add some? All sugars, natural and refined, fall into the category of carbohydrates. Carbohydrates are an essential source of energy for the body and are found in many common foods. Refined sugars are carbohydrates that supply calories but no nutritional benefit. I need to say that again because this is extremely important. Refined sugars are carbohydrates that supply calories with no nutritional benefit. Refined sugars are found in desserts, candies, sodas, and table sugar and are derived from processed plant materials including sugar cane and sugar beets. This processing strips away any fiber, vitamins, minerals, nutrients belonging to the plant and leaves a product that is almost 100% sucrose. Natural sugars are carbohydrates that are an ordinary part of some food groups. For instance, fruits contain a natural sugar called fructose. Milk and other dairy products contain sugars called galactose and lactose. Other natural sugars include raw honey, maple syrup, nectar, and molasses. So the next time you add sugar to your coffee, reach for a candy bar, grab a cookie, or even drink a pop. Think about how many teaspoons of sugar you're ingesting. 10 teaspoons a day should be our target, and for most of us, we have a lot to cut. Personally, I do too. I hope this awareness will start the process of caloric sweetener decline most of us need to undertake. This is Cycling Explorer, and I hope you have a great day.